this stuff. I can't believe you picked Ford Blue, bud. I'll punch you right in the neck. Whoa, did Dennis Hopper himself just ride in here? Dun, dun, dun. No. Goodness, uh, son. I'm just trying to, I think I'm gonna make a couple changes. Okay. I might cut. All right, GoPro died, so we're kicking it old school on the iPhone. Kicking but. It old school on the iPhone, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about doing that fender setup. I'm not, sometimes I'm a fender guy, sometimes I'm not a fender guy, so. But. Damn. But, if I'm a, but uh, a good way to be is this, this kind of a fender guy. Right, right. What do you think? I think you look pretty good. I think sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> I'm just like going to relocate go and, the mount. Like I'm going to go ahead and mark it, and then I'll take it over and tack it together. Cool deal. And uh haven't figured out how really I'm going to do this yet. Oh, what you got? The design on this. Oh, okay. You're I mean, going there's through. the old setup, which is still cool, but I like the chain. We've done that a long time ago. I like it a lot. I just, I don't know. This side's way more superior now. Bushing, right. I mean, I mean, you know, tight wise, and you know, sure. that's real good. But I think I'm gonna chop my Cicerino here and lower it down to where about like that. Cool. And you know, not not really doing a whole lot, just a little bit of. But got some paint here, right here, just now. And it's F blue, which is. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's pretty close. That'll be good enough to get that. Do you think? What, you think we can? It's it's close. It's you should have got the dark one. I don't know. I don't think so. I think the dark one would have been a little. Really? Okay. Yeah, That's he, what he said. But all right. I think by the time he gets on that silver base, it'll it'll be fine. All right. Well, let me go ahead. Let me, That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm gonna relocate mounts. I. You have got been, your box um, right Yeah. I just finished this right here. Had a piece of just I don't know square stock two by four. Two by four. And cut it down, but left my sides and got these little rubber mounts for the battery. Made this little top bracket out of a long piece I just cut over there. And then just some quarter inch bolts welded on the side, wing nuts up top. And gonna put a piece of rubber in the bottom. That way it don't really, it's got something to latch on to. Maybe even put a piece of rubber or something on this. That way it's all rubberized and whatnot. But all this, let me take this over here. The terminals will stick out on that side. And then literally, I want to mount all this up. When I get my chain, I'll know my length and then mount my fender because uh, then that'll kind of determine where that goes. But And of course, it will get painted. 
flat black. <laughs> Not really sure exactly what the paint job will be on the end, but as of right now, uh, but as of right now, just to get it as a rider, it's it's the whole goal is to get it together, shake down, maybe tear it apart again in some little aspect, and then start on the real fun design stuff and paint jobs and switching pipes and this that and the other. But not too shabby looking right now. I kind of dig it. Oh shoot! See, <laughs> this is where this is where the heat, the weldo pad comes in handy because now i don't want to roll the welder way back over now i can just put it on there <laughs> like so oh, All this stuff. I can't believe you picked Ford Blue, bud. I'll punch you. <laughs> you said this one. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I, I think it's you've done. If yeah, as far as rattle cannon. Now there's a AMC engine blue. I forgot we had that. I th it's literally the same. Put those caps side by side. It's, they're the same. Oh, I did. Well, I'd rather use this new can that's been in a climate controlled <laughs> tractor <area> supply <laughs> instead of, yeah. No, no. Practice pass? <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm gonna just uh, a stick pass, just a tack pass. <laughs> Come on, back off a little bit get a little excited <laughs> I believe by the time I put two on her All right, uh, we kind of had to take a quick break to go round up some wood. In fact, Ivan right now has got the chainsaw and uh, cutting up some wood for tonight because it's about to be cold. But before all that happened, and we didn't film everything, but we just been down here uh, just in it. You know how it is when you get in the garage, especially when you're fabricating and you get locked in on something. So, but we're going. I'm going to take you through just a little bit of what we uh, what we've been doing, uh, Ivan. Got his front fender mounted up. He's messing with some foot pegs, but like I said, had to take off and go do wood so we'd have fire tonight. But he got that done. I think he's messing with some seat options. He's trying to figure out something different there. But uh, on my bike here, a big thing was uh, foot pegs. I didn't know what I was going to do, which foot pegs aren't a huge deal, but you know when you, i just didn't have any especially ones that were going to work so what i did was these are actually uh I, I did on both sides it's an adjustable wrench and all i did was cut the adjustable part there's one that's got a rubbery piece on it but i just cut the adjuster part off and then took my the hole where you like hang it or whatever I took it, chopped it, and then welded it at a 90. And so that's what's bolted here. I don't even know what this shifter is for, really. But it fit and ground it off a few little places to... Because it was a little snug. So I know it's not for a sportster, but we made it fit a sportster. And on this side, same deal as far as the peg. But I did have, uh, I guess, this stopper where it would flip up that side uh does not flip up but this side i can flip it if i need to but this is just something i had from a box it was actually i don't 
it's like a piece of just regular old pipe someone made it but it fit perfectly there so i just chopped it added it to there smoothed out the welds and stuff and i don't know there's that of course i gotta get my brake and stuff mounted but that was done uh trying to get these bikes done because this is kind of stuff that's been in the background that we've been when we're waiting on parts for stuff like this or don't have much going on we're just like all right this summer we won't be riding so let's figure out what we need to do and start cranking away on these motorcycles and that way we can hit the road and make some cool fun videos oh yeah we got the brake that's right we got the brakes rear brake done too so Okay, got my chain mocked up, kind of mounted on there. Might do a little something different on it, but we'll get to that later. But it's on there good enough to start mounting the seat and the fender. And one thing I got to do to my fender, I know it's kind of hard to see. I got a black line here in uh, Sharpie. I've got to cut a relief here for the chain. I wanted to go a little bit further away from the tire to give myself some uh some clearance in case you know axle adjusters need to maybe change around i got plenty of room to move it forward i got plenty of room to move it back and it's just better space under the fender there for adjustments down the road if that needs to happen or tire change and wheel change and all that so and the cool thing is if i want to change it i can buy another fender mock it up weld it on and i'll be done with it but i really dig this fender simple easy and uh yeah we're gonna start chopping on it doing some new forwards bud yeah boy yeah but i built these i found me some aluminum uh pegs that had rubber on them so i don't like aluminum for stuff so i just i built me some i'm just trying to get on the road sons i feel you look at that thing just a mock-up right now. Quick little chopper update. Rear fender is like halfway mounted. We cut that tab here. And we, uh, it's just a piece of angle iron actually, and we bent it to match the curvature of the fender. Uh, 3 8 bolts and then 3 8 nuts just welded to the fender there and uh, eventually we're going to do some sort of piece that there's actually studs inside the seat there so we're going to go off of that and then the sissy bar it's just going to be a simple sissy bar up and over the seat nothing crazy but it's a late night took us a little while to fabricate that but Looks pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not store-bought, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's functional. There we go. That's all we care about. Yeah. The new forwards look tough, dude. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> What you about to get into, bud? New forwards, check. Redesigned forwards, check. Now. All right, this thing, I don't. 
hate to chop it up, but I think I'm, I'm just going to have to. I know. See, I mean, it's already here. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make new tabs. New CC bar you tabs. Know, that was quick. I'm going to cut all these off and make new tabs. Go put it on. I'm going to have a slight bend. Like it's going to start from axle to fender mount. And then it's going to, from the fender mount, I'm going to try to make it just ever Swoop so. Swoop up. Yeah, just because the way my bike is, it's not like a red or hardtail. You can't just go with the lines because, I mean, you can, but, and it was fine for me, but for a rider on there on the back with you, put your woman on there. Ain't going to work, yeah. dude. Gonna, <laughs> I mean, it would work. She wouldn't care. I'm just saying... Since I'm revamping everything, I might as well do it and see what it looks like. So that's it. Small block Chevy parts, rockers, push rods, all that stuff. Freaking cool. I pinstripe these for them to match the bike. Yeah, that was a that was there. a fun day when we made that, dude. That was cool. I just man, I just started to do it. I just got on it and I just I just went with it. So hopefully, uh, use the, using the same method, it's flying by the seat of my pants, <laughs> I'll get this one done too. Yeah, yeah, dude. I hope. I'm about to use the plasma cutter. I haven't used it yet. Ooh, Ooh check that out. Tell you what, brand new, brand, brand. but we're rocking and rolling down here. It's uh, from four by fours to two wheels, bud. We do it all. That's it. <laughs> Dad just got this big ugly thing that was welded up under the prison van out. Plasma cutter. Yeah. But that's old school. <laughs>
Nice. She don't. Clung, 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 clung. You're not gonna. I mean, you'll get good cell phone reception, but not what you used to get when it was. Yeah, here. I'm at 3G now. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You went back to 3G. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty cool. That's good, dude. Yeah. Yo. That's cool because I reused I reused some stuff too. Alright. Ah sweet. Alright. Alright. Uh, I literally let <laughs> I don't think we can do it today. I hate it. Again, didn't uh, I? Oh, yeah. Well, first off, how's the beef jerky? It's good. I Second, love, I love beef jerky. <laughs> how, was the, how was the ride, dude? It was good. A little wet? Yep. The fender, work, the fender works good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, good enough. Sweet. So now, here. is uh, this flat stock bar, and we're gonna cut it here. And the rest of this is gonna be my sissy bar. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gotta cut it right, right, right there. Talking, yep. yeah. Got the sissy bar mocked up. I did get a tab for my seat there, and I had the front tab already done, so that's all tied in. I guess we're gonna do some bungs off the fender, do some tabs off of the frame. Ah, yeah, and Dad did the uh, coil mount, single fire coil mount. Looks pretty cool. 
appreciate that. I dig that. Oh, yeah. Looks just, good. Just ripped out something real quick. Just yeah. fabricate that up real yeah. quick out of my head. No big deal. Burning late, that midnight oil. <laughs> yeah, it's a late night in the shop. Me and Seth are working on his bike. I had to get me a little kick, so I went and got me a little packet of Swift Instant Coffee. Get me going a little bit. We got a couple more hours of going to work down here on this, so if uh, if you ever need a kick in the evening to get you going, get you some Swift Coffee. Go to swiftcoffee.com and put in our code, the Swim Shop 4x4, and get a 15% discount. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but it's on there. I'll uh, I'll do a better job welding. Rather, I'm not a tacker. I'm a welder. I what? I don't even know if that's a smith. <laughs> okay, now. Don't get ahead of yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just some guy with a welder. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, that's looking good, bud. Looks good. Well, I mean, it looks good when you when you stand back and like, oh yeah, check it out. Oh. oh. Is it Friday? Oh gosh. Is it Big Red Friday? It's Big Red Friday, dude. It's Big Red Friday. Happy Big Red Friday, everybody. Dang. Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about it. Just hit me, man. Big red flag. Oh, we're, we're just here in the shop. To... Would you <laughs> give it a rest? <laughs> we're here in the shop. You don't know what Big Red Friday is? You ought to be ashamed. What you see? Hope y'all had a good week. <laughs> We've had a few minor technical difficulties. Oh. But, no. uh. We're. I'm getting mine ready to ride to the Power Sound pre-party. Yo. Yo. Tomorrow we'll be. Tomorrow. We'll be. As Ethan would say. Tomorrow. We'll be covering that, so you'll be seeing that soon. Going to party with our friends at Fed Up Fab tomorrow, so y'all check them out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> They'll be there as well. But you, let, you'll be able to Let's, ride. Be I'm not ride. quite there, but you, you could. You could front break it. <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> I could flintstone my way to the uh, pre-party. But all right, what did, what did you what did you get done on yours? I uh, got you recap whatever. Uh, let's see, coal mount. Y'all saw that just a minute ago. Uh, foot pegs, and then I got sissy bar. I had to. Uh, I don't think there's ever been a lift kit put on a sissy bar, but when I first made it made these way too short and it was gonna get into the brake the rotor the chain and all that stuff so i had to put a lift kit on it and raise it up so it looks a little bit taller than when we mocked it up but honestly probably looks better that way i think it does look good it don't look bad at all to me no man no so a little bit of a uh, chopper stuff that happened what else happened uh you got your battery cover which is off right now yeah it's off right now i that's the last thing i gotta do is i'm literally just about to put it on start it up and go fill it up with gas and whatnot but i got my sissy bar chopped shortened curved tag plate redone i mean it was quick i just need to get on the road the next time you see this bike coming out of its shell it's going to go into a hard tail Yo! <laughs> so, but yeah, I got the uh, shifter done. I redone it. I had I had some. I needed some major revamping on that. It's, the stuff that's been on there worked for years, so it's done its job. And yeah, you know. So, but anyway, that's cool. And... Oh, I got this little pad here screwed there for you know Libby to ride, and I got them pegs welded on there. Just the twisted. Just for, 
twisted passenger pegs. Pigs. And it's cool that you're wearing your prison supply shirt. <gasps> check it. Y'all check yeah, them I like out. This. I like the shirt, man. They got pockets with the pan head on them. That's cool. Love it. But speaking of prism, uh, y'all probably be seeing some prism parts being welded, bolted, and all that stuff on this black bike here. So definitely looking forward to that. And speaking of prism again, still chopping away on their van. You said you got a little update yourself. I've got the uh, got the wiring harness all figured out for the fuel injection. Got the throttle body mounted, everything plugged up, all the sensors plugged up figured out and i'm getting ready i got just just got the motor up on top dead center so i'm getting ready to drop the distributor in so we're yeah. not too far from hearing it run it won't be today but it won't be too long but might see that in an upcoming video and of course as always thanks to okay recycling in fact boom went down there and picked up some metal and some of that metal is fabricated into these two things so couldn't do it without you couldn't do it without you okay renegade supplies keeps us closed yeah <laughs> they closed <laughs> closed <laughs> dang near fed no nah. but they yeah thanks for thanks for doing that um yeah. check out our merch swim shop merch we got all kinds of goodies and more goodies to come yeah check out some also check out our pals over at peace and grease they're having an event the same time that we are so y'all check them out if you're up near their way uh look at their youtube channel check out their event and speaking of events power and sound may 17th and 18th hey. power and sound revival y'all be there bring your chop bring your minivan bring whatever you got bring you your come steaks, down bring your camping grill bring your good time hats yeah bring your, <laughs> i mean it's a good time i'm telling you it's right a now, good time. you need to be there. I'll be there. <laughs> oh, again. <laughs> but heck yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed part two of the choppers. Y'all will be seeing them again in a future video. And hopefully, sooner than later, you'll be seeing them on the road and us having a good time out there. Uh, putting some miles on these things, Hoss. Yep. Swim shop out. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Bye. Get out of here. Y'all Huh? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm thinking about? Oh, oh, oh. I was, you know how uh, Beverly Hillbilly say, y'all say, come back now? Yeah, y'all y'all come back now, would you? Y'all come back now, you hear? You hear me? I know, yeah. They heard me. Y'all come back, you, you know. Come back now, you hear? Yeah, they heard. <laughs> what? No.